Hey guys, I wanted to do a super quick video today. It's come up quite a bit in the past and I always kind of meant to make a video, but just never did. But it's really dealing with how can I use the virtual VE assistant on a standard VE table? Whether you have the two bar custom OS or you have an E40 or even a Gen 3, you can still use this tool. So let's kind of go over a little bit of history here. So this is kind of a flow chart of what we would see back in the old days, pre-VVE Assistant, right? We have our initial virtual VE table, whether that's stock from some other tuner, who knows? We have it, uh, we go for a log file, or we get a log file, we go for a drive. Let me get my laser pointer. We go for a drive, get a log, copy paste special into the editor, hit calculate coefficients, we see all kinds of crazy peaks and valleys and everything that's not smooth. And so we smooth it by the best we can, you know, interpolate, whether it's going by hand uh, or using the built-in smoothing tools. Um, and then we hit calculate coefficients again. It looks better. It's still kind of messy. So we smooth it and then we just kind of loop and iterate till we get a shape that looks nice. But with all that hand blending and calculating coefficients, our shape has changed, it's drifted. We don't know if it's good or bad, right? So the only thing we can do is flash the tune, you know, the new VE table, and then we go for another log drive, another drive to get a log. And that whole process uh, starts over and over, and we just, we got to do that a lot. So then came along the virtual... VE assistant, and it's all the same except for this review margin of error in here, right? Because now we've captured the initial virtual VE table from the tune, and we've also captured that log file. We've married them together so we know what error mass we should be expecting. So as we calculate and we blend and interpolate all that stuff, at each step, we're looking at that margin of error, right? And we're looking for two things. Number one, visually, is it appealing, right? Is it smooth? Does it look like a real VE table? Good transitions. Then also, how's the math look, right? And so we're going to make sure both of those things are good. When we're happy, we flash that new VE table in there, and then we start over. We go for a drive, and hopefully we're at a point here where the margin of error is pretty small, and it's something that we can live with. So... This exact same process works for standard VE tables, except for, guess what? We don't have to worry about this calculating coefficients. We're just doing it all by hand, okay? So we're going to like smooth it, interpolate it, blend it, whatever we have to do. And then we're just going to review the margin of error in the tool. So let's do a quick demo and I'll show you how this looks. So here we are in the log. It's just a pretty short, simple log, just for demonstration purposes. So we will grab this, right-click, copy with Axis, and then we're going to go to, oh, wait, we got to open this up. Now, I'll hit uh, New just to make sure that we're starting off clean, right? There's nothing in here. So we'll paste that in there. And we can see there's no lines, right? There's no zones. We don't need zones, right? Because we're dealing with standard VE stuff. So let's then take, this is our two bar OS on a fourth gen. Pop this guy in here. Pop them in here too. And so now when we look, we haven't changed anything. So this paste special tab is gonna be exactly the same as our initial histo. So we'll take this for now, we'll copy, and then we're going to go here and let's drag this over and paste special multiply by percent. Now, if I don't do anything, and some people don't, and I wouldn't recommend this, but you can see we have some jagged peaks and valleys and spikes in here. We don't want that. It should be smooth. Not to say it's got to be... Um, Botox smooth, right? Real VE tables have some wrinkles, but overall, this is too rough for me. But if we copy this and we go back here and we paste it in. All these should be zero. 
Oh, we have some rounding errors, but I mean, look at that. It's happy, right? Um, and, you know, we could hit calculate coefficients, although that would give us an error because we don't have zones, so that's not going to work. But we could hit calculate coefficients, assuming that we had passed in some dummy zones. Uh, but we don't want to do that. So we're going to say, listen, I want to do the right thing. And by the way, a little uh, trick I learned. Um, if you hold the left and right mouse buttons down at the same time, you can zoom in. I had no idea you could do that. And then uh, you can zoom in and out on all of the charts or 3D charts in HP Tuner. So that's pretty, pretty wild. So let's say, hey, you know what? I'm going to start moving this stuff around by hand. And this is by no means going to be perfect, right? But I want to kind of just show you the, the overall flow here. So I do whatever I want to do to kind of make things right, you know, and then I may do some other crazy things in general, right? And let's, let's say that I've spent a long time on this and maybe let's even blend this like so. All right. So I've spent some time and I'll say, you know what? That looks mint to me. So it passes the visual test, but does it pass the math test? So we're going to copy this whole thing and we're going to go back in here and we're going to paste it in. And now you can see that I do still have some trouble areas. So again, we're going to copy. We're going to go back into our chart here. Pay special, multiply by percent. And now we can kind of start over again, right? Now, obviously, I made some big gnarly changes in the last one just to intentionally show you uh, just for the sake of the error the overall process right but i don't have to worry about calculating coefficients i just have to worry about doing this by hand and i can make the most beautiful looking thing in the world but it still uh, needs to pass the math test as well right so i can spend some time in here doing what I need to do. Now we can take this, copy with axis, and it should be much better than the last one, but essentially I'm gonna keep doing that, right? We can forget to calculate coefficients. I'm just gonna go by hand, and after each stage, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna verify the changes I made agree with the math. So this, again, should work on any standard VE table, and when I say standard, anything that doesn't use coefficients. And so you can see that we can just keep going back and forth to make that work. So anyway, um, I hope that helps. And um, if it does, see you in the winter circle.